still alive, bruh? Did you know that Assassin's Creed has a VR game? It's called Assassin's Creed Nexus, and you'd probably wanna try. Here's why. No magic or teleportation. Some Assassin's Creed fans hate the new AC games. They don't like that Assassin's Creed now has magic and teleportation. Guess what? This game doesn't have any of that. It's back to the old style of AC with this one. If you're that kind of fan who wants no magic in his Assassin's Creed, I think you'll like this game. No microtransactions. Assassin's Creed Nexus VR doesn't have microtransaction. A Ubisoft game without microtransactions. Imagine that. You don't have to. It's this game. Assassin's Creed Nexus. You can throw Connor's tomahawk and everything else. In AC3, you cannot throw Connor's tomahawk. That doesn't make any sense. In Assassin's Creed Nexus, yes, you can. Actually, you can throw everything, even if you're not Connor, except the hidden blade because it's attached to you. Cassandra and Ezio has a sword. You can throw those and hit enemies. Also, the arrows without the bow, just the arrows. But it's hard to hit with just arrows. You can play as Cassandra with hidden blade. In AC Odyssey, Cassandra doesn't have a hidden blade. I think it's because the hidden blade isn't well known yet in Odyssey and only one guy has it. But since the Cassandra part of this game is set after the events of Odyssey, she now has a hidden blade here. Animus is basically VR. If you know a little bit about the game's lore, the Animus is basically VR. The only difference in Animus is that you're unconscious. You're dreaming, basically. Isn't that cool? They could have named this game Assassin's Creed Animus or something. Wanna see more about this game? Here's another video.